This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and the lock I have for you today is a Medico Keymark Mortise Cylinder. These locks are known in the picking community for having absolutely absurd keyways. I have another one right here that we can look at so you can appreciate exactly how difficult this keyway looks. We have two 90 degree, 90 degree turns right in the middle of the keyway, and you can also see that the pins are resting on a bit of warding on the left side there. So as soon as you lift them even a little bit, you've probably already overset the lowest pins. But this lock really isn't as hard as people think it is. A lot of people assume that you need to pick around these two 90 degree angles, and that's actually not the case. Looking at this keyway analytically, you can see the piece that prevents us from picking most directly is this bit of warding sticking out on the right side. If you look carefully, you can also see that the pins actually pass through that bit of warding. So if there is a hole that the pins can pass through, there's probably a hole that the pick can pass through. And in fact, we can access just a tiny sliver of that hole and exploit that for picking. You can see it's really not even that difficult. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to pick this lock open. And then, of course, I'll take it apart and show you what's inside. I'm using a dimple tension wrench in the bottom of the keyway just because it fits really, really nicely in there. And I'm using my number seven hook in 15 thousandths. Okay, let's get started. Number one is loose. Little click out of two. Three is loose. Click out of four. Click out of five. Having a little bit of difficulty finding the hole for six. Okay, click out of six, back to one. One is loose, two is loose, nothing on three, nothing on four. Having some difficulty finding our hole on five. Okay, there's five, gotta click there, nothing on six. Back to one. Okay, one is binding now, lifting him up. Whoa, really high, there we go, and got the lock open. So, not all that difficult to pick once you know that you don't have to deal with that keyway on its own terms. You just find those little holes that are designed for allowing the pins to go through and exploit them and these locks open pretty quickly. Okay, let's, uh, let's take this guy apart and see what's inside. I need a Phillips screwdriver to get the cam mechanism off the back. Okay, and let's get a follower now. Okay, let's dump the key pins out first. Standard in one, standard in two, and a master wafer. A spooled key pin in three. A spooled key pin in four spooled in five, and standard in six. Let me arrange these and then we'll get the driver pins out. I should note that I didn't feel any security pins in the drivers, so if we do see something in there, that'll be a bit of a surprise. Okay, got a standard pin in one. Okay, maybe it was just a really thick couple of master wafers there. Standard in two. Same in three. 
same in four, same in five, and same in six. And it does look like we have some variation in the driver pin length, so there might be some attempt at balanced pin stacks. Okay. Let me give you a close up of all of this. Well, here's our key. Not particularly good bidding, but not particularly bad either. Okay, as you can see on our key pins, they are all standard except for three, four, and five, which are spooled. Then all standard driver pins, and we have master wafers in slots one and two. Moving over to the core, you can see we have six pins and nothing else unusual that I see about this core, other than, of course, the absurd looking keyway, but once you know the secret to it, it really takes the mystery out and these locks aren't that hard to pick. So this has been our Medico Keymark mortise cylinder. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.